could do a young kid, a young child, like he did, doesn't deserve to live. I wouldn't myself. I don't believe. How would you describe how you feel today now that he's been executed? It makes me feel different. It makes me feel better. I had just about lost all faith in the justice system. But I feel today much better by it. He deserved it, huh? He deserved every minute of it, yes, sir. I certainly do. He deserved it? He deserved every, every minute of it. Everything he got, he deserved it. Do you think you'll ever feel the pain that this young girl felt? Even even in his electrocution? No, sir, I don't, because I don't believe he'd be tortured as that little girl was tortured. I really don't. So it's a... Uh... He might be claiming that he's, his sins are forgiven, but they are not. I don't believe they are forgiven. I don't believe that. You changed this town, that incident? <laughs> yes, it changed it quite a bit. It certainly did. Had everyone frightened. Frightened to let the children out on the streets or out, uh, out on the playgrounds. It's very much so, yes, sir. All right, thank you for talking to us. Huh? I believe, as, as I said, I believe people can rest at ease now knowing that he is out of the way and there's no chance of him escaping to come back to do the same thing that he has done prior. I don't believe he, I, I believe the town, or be, believe the people would be more at ease than ever before. I trust and pray they will. This is the only way to guarantee that, though, with, was, with his execution. That's right. That's the only way to guarantee it. Certainly was. Right. And I also, I admire our governor of the state of Florida for his stand that he put on it. But he particularly said no, that he would not stay his execution. I admire him for it. Just uh, how you feel today now that you know that this man has been executed? I feel a sense of relief. I feel it's been long overdue. And uh, I've felt all along there was something wrong with the judicial system as to why this didn't happen sooner. To let a man go on that has killed one girl after another and show no remorse, there's got to be something wrong with the judicial system. And I am for the death penalty. And I'm glad that it's over with. But I do hope that the good Lord has mercy on his soul. I really believe that. And, um... Do you think he'll ever uh, feel the felt, and even in his execution, the pain he inflicted on so many others? I don't believe so. I don't believe that he had that inside of him. Just, I don't really believe he had any feeling of remorse whatsoever. I've watched him on television. I watched him the few times that he was interviewed. He just didn't seem like he showed any feeling whatsoever toward another human being. How did this town so, feel toward Ted Bundy? Um, there was a lot of anger, a lot of it. You could feel it in the air, and it's been in the air ever since. And my, my heart really went out to the um, Leach family, just like everyone did. There was and, anger in now? Uh, well, I, I think there's probably still a little bit of anger left, but I think it'll gradually subside. So, uh, but I really believe justice has been served. And, uh, but I still felt like last night, I was so afraid there was going to be another stay of execution because there had been so many before. What is your name? Really? Barbara Wilhite. How do you spell that? W-I-L-H-I-T-E. Okay. And you're Mr. James Cecil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be very hard. How do you see the execution? I think justice is served. Uh, since I've been living here in Lake City and for nine years, it's been a lot of difference. I can tell a lot of anger. I've been some several people I talked to. I wasn't here when it happened, but I, I've got. Have you thought about whether or not the death penalty is the right thing to do? 
I thought all along it was. I've never, I live in three different states, and it's, it's been very well that, you know, so that it happened. So how would you describe uh, how people in the city feel today now that he's been executed? Uh, I think a lot of people would be relieved, very relieved. It's, they've uh, looking forward to it, but <laughs> I know the ones I've talked to. The Leach family will always miss their daughter, but I believe they'll probably feel better about it now, you know, and maybe they can have some peace of mind and let it rest. Because they've been in the headlines on as much as he has. Thank you very much. If you would uh, give me a second, you No, that's okay. Well, just tell me what you just said. We're just glad it's over. It could have happened a long time ago. Do you feel safer now? Do you feel safer? Why, how, why was this, this town so uh, ready to have a message? Well, what he did was, you know, we wouldn't want it to happen to our children. Deserved it? Absolutely. Okay. How about yourself? What do you think? They, how do you feel now that you've heard he's finally going to execute? a long time ago because at the time I was living in Tallahassee when he murdered the two sorority sisters up there and when you live in a town where something like this happens it, it really does something to your emotions you're ready to see him die yes do you think uh, he suffered the pain that he may have inflicted on other people no way what he did to, to that little 12-year-old girl, no way. And what he did to the other women. No way, what? The pain that he put them through, and it's the victims that has to pay for those crimes. Can you imagine what the mothers and fathers are, you know, have been through for the past 11 years? Knowing that this man has manipulated the justice, the system, and all of this. And it just brings back these memories and hot, you know. So I, I think he he got what he deserved. Thank you very much. Huh? <laughs> I mean, hey, oh, we need you. Oh, no <laughs> what is this? A class? Yeah. Yes. It's a uh, secretarial school. Uh, mm -hmm. So how do you feel? I'm glad it's over. I think uh, Mr. Miss Leach can rest now. Um, I'm just glad it's over, really. I do. I think um, 20 is enough and whatever else is left, you know, I just, it's over. He won't be out again to do it over again to anybody else. Rest yeah. easier than one? I do. I, today when I heard it, after I got, got through with my appointment, I heard it on the radio and I was really glad. Yeah. How about yourself? I'm glad it's over. Now that I have a child of my own, I, I feel like... What would, ha what would I go through if it happened to my daughter? And I'm glad that it's over. It's been 10 years. I mean, now there's belief in the system that it does work, that they didn't pull him out at the last minute like they've done before. So I'm glad it's over. And I think everybody in this town is glad it's over too. Because I don't think they really believe that it would happen this time either, like so many times before. You know, Kim had the right, just like in the Friday's paper, she had a right to live and and to have a life of her own, and he and he stopped that. So I'm glad they stopped his. Do you think by executing him, you've uh, inflicted the kind of pain he put in so many other people? No, not near enough. Not what he's done to other people. And right at the end, it said that he done there was 20 other deaths or something that he committed or brought up. No, I don't think they've done near enough for him. Really, and maybe that's a selfish opinion, and I shouldn't feel that way. But I'm sorry, you died. no, I'm not. Thank you. Do you know where? Oh, <laughs> I don't really want to do this. I'm sorry, because I, I can't be sure that it was him. No, but uh, okay. Let me get over here. Uh, you lived here. I've lived here all my life, but I was in Cal. I was living in California when I first heard of this. My father so how told do you feel me. Today now? Oh, I'm. 
it was justified. There's no doubt about it. Because like I said, when I was living in California, reading the newspapers out there, I had read about the cases in Colorado, Oregon, Utah, everywhere. And then all of a sudden my father tells me about Florida. I said, my God, the man's gone all the way to Florida. And I just happened to be here visiting my parents when I found the body. So that really hit home, you know, so far away from home. And I come back here and I see this and I said, this Some is people unreal. say this is inhumane. For, you mean for him? Death penalty. No. No. It's justifiable. What about the victims? What about the victims that were tortured? That's That was inhumane, what he did to them. He, well, he got what he deserved. I would... I really think he should have had more pain before he died. That might sound pretty hard, but just think about what happened to those, those poor young girls. Their lives were just took away so quickly. She was just a child, just a child. And now, you know, she could be right now a mother, as I am. But she never had that chance in life. Ted Bundy got what he deserved. I feel pity for his family, you know, but he lied. And he lied. But finally, justice has begun. I think a lot of people here in Lake City will be rested from this. All right. Thank you very You're much. Right. Right. Lake City, Florida. Today, the residents of her hometown of Lake City, Florida. Bundy was sentenced to death for the murder and kidnapping of 12 year old Kimberly Leach. Today, the residents in her hometown of Lake City, Florida, here in today, residents, residents of her hometown of Lake City, Florida, town of Lake City, Florida, say they're resting easier now that you're in. Okay? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Bundy was sentenced to death for the killing. <clears throat> Again, three, two, one. Bundy was sentenced to death for the murder and kidnapping, kidnapping and murder. Three, two, Lake City, Florida, said the Western Easy. Here we go, three, two, one. Bundy was sentenced to death for the murder and kidnapping, shit, again, three, two, one. Bundy was sentenced to death for the kidnapping and murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach. Is that too much? Here we go. Three, two, one. Bundy was sentenced to death for the midnight. Again. They are the residents of the hometown. Ready? Bundy was sentenced to death for the kidnapping and murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach. Today, the residents of her hometown of Lake City, Florida, say they're resting easier now that Bundy's gone. You like the shoulder? Bundy was sentenced to death for the kidnapping and murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach. Today, the residents of her hometown of Lake City, Florida, say they're resting easier now that Bundy's gone. Okay, again? Here we go again. Bundy was sentenced to death for the kidnapping and murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach. Today, the residents of her hometown of Lake City, Florida, say they're resting easier now that Bundy's gone. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bundy was sentenced to death for the kidnapping and murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach. Today, the residents of her hometown of Lake City, Florida, say they're resting easier now that Bundy's gone. Again? Okay. 
Bundy was sentenced to death for the murder again. Add to this truck, right? Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. Bundy was sentenced to death for the kidnapping and murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach. Today, the residents of her hometown of Lake City, Florida, say they're resting easier now that Bundy's gone.